standards of the academies to which we belong. And finally, I just want to thank all of you for being here early in the morning. It is nice to be joined, not to be here alone. Um, so thank you all for that. Today, I will attempt to synthesize some of the highlights that I think characterize this joint project upon which we have all embarked together as individuals over the past decade and a half or so. However, necessarily, this synthesis will be incomplete, it'll be subjective, it'll be partial, it'll be mine. And it's important to underscore this at the outset because this part of the faculty development workshop began to be videotaped last year for the purpose of placing it on the LATCRIT website in order to dispel any notion that any one person or any one account of what we do together is somehow the canonical account of what we do together. So for example, last year, Angela Harris did this part of the faculty development workshop, and you can go to the LATCRIT website and compare her account of the topic to which we now turn our attention. And as we turn our attention to this partial subjective attempt at synthesis, I ask you all to please keep in mind this very event that we are at, this faculty development workshop, for this effort is um, emblematic of the synthesis that I will attempt to describe, but it's right here in front of you. When you look at not only the concept behind this event, but the arrangement of the room, which is not arranged in the way that most conferences are arranged where people stare at the backs of the heads of the people that they're supposedly engaged discursively with. This is a theoretical innovation in the construction of an academic event. Also, look at the tones, the cultures, the regions, the disciplines, the age range in the room. This is not a coincidence. This event the, embodies what I can only in the abstract hope to partially explain and synthesize. So just keep that in mind as we turn to my humble effort here. I would like to begin by suggesting that a good working title for this talk might be the Lacrit Experiment, colon, keeping that, quote, rebellious spirit alive. You might recall the work of Jerry Lopez on rebellious lawyering. Well, we are engaged in rebellious academic activism. And to better understand this rebellious academic activism, it might help to begin with uh, a little bit of background, a little bit of context. That is, an understanding of how we reflect, embody, and continue the jurisprudential progression from formalism to critical legal studies to critical outsider jurisprudence, or what I will from time to time describe as outcrit legal studies. It helps to begin with a bit of background because the context of American or North American jurisprudential history is in fact the backdrop for our efforts. And the experience of North American legal realism provides a useful starting point for the charting of this intellectual and historical context. Of course, we all know that prior to the emergence of realism, during the first half of the past century, reigned the Langdellian model of doctrinal formalism and its abstracted focus on the case method of legal analysis and education. That was a reign established in this country in reaction to the models of education and analysis transplanted here from Europe and championed here originally by Columbia Law School and its lecture method. 
Although the Langdellian reaction to those traditions and the alternative it provided to those traditions became dominant in the early history of US legal culture, it spawned what came to be critiqued as a mechanical approach to law. So the realist reaction was a reaction to the Langdellian reaction and to the mechanical jurisprudence of that Langdellian reaction. And that led to so-called sociological jurisprudence designed to make legal doctrine and legal frameworks more socially cognizant, more socially relevant, more socially responsible. Thus, North American realism emphasized functional analysis and reliance on cross-disciplinary sources to subject doctrinal regimes of law to critical scrutiny and aiming to synthesize legal logic with social science to engineer law reform initiatives. After the mid-century upheavals of the Second World War and First Great Depression, which undercut and interrupted that realist insurgency, this emphasis on social relevance and social justice became revitalized in the emergence of various critical approaches to law. The different varieties of critical legal studies, beginning with the initial variety focusing on the intersection of law and class, creates the modern backdrop for our efforts today. This initial articulation of critical legal studies or of critical approaches to legal knowledge and legal education crystallized and consolidated some key insights or methods that realism had either developed or suggested. And these advances were in turn later expanded and developed by subsequent varieties of critical legal studies initiated primarily by women of color and people of color. For example, the early articulations of critical legal studies during the second half of the past century built on realist premises and or explorations of legal indeterminacy and of the hunches of legal actors whose decisional choices inevitably help to construct social and economic realities as revealed by critical and cross-disciplinary analyses under the realist era. Later, expanded articulations of legal criticality nourished outsider approaches to critical legal studies. And these outsider approaches to critical legal studies centered um, the identities embedded in legal doctrine other than identities based on class. And thus it continued the evolution from realism to the initial articulations of critical legal studies to now what I would describe as critical outsider jurisprudence. These expanded articulations of a critical subject position in legal knowledge production thus produced legal feminisms, critical race theory, critical race feminism, Asian American legal scholarship, queer theory, and most recently, the Latcrit experiment. These expanded articulations also inform the evolution of other justice-minded